Hi, my name's Emma and I'm Pat's artist. Today we're going to make a pumpkin sun catcher. So in front of you, you should have your kit from Pact with all the bits that you need to make your sun catcher. Um, first things, make sure you've got an area that's big enough to spread your kit out and make your sun catcher. And you might want to um, cover the table or um, work surface with a uh, plastic cloth or a piece of cardboard or newspaper. Only because we're using uh, glue and you might not want to get everywhere sticky. Um, I always have some baby wipes because um, to wipe my sticky fingers or if I spill the glue it's just easier than going off to get a cloth to wipe it. Right, also if you need to pause this video at any time you can to take a break or if you just want to catch up if I'm moving too quickly. Okay, are we ready? Grab your bag um, from Pact which has got all your kit in that you need for your pumpkin. And let's check that you've got everything you need to make your pumpkin sun catcher. So in your bag you should have a glue pot and a spreader, I've got mine over here. Um, you should have a green tissue paper stalk, some teeth, two eyes, some sticky glue pads, a piece of blue tack, two pieces of clear plastic, pumpkin frame like that and some orange tissue paper squares so first thing we're going to pop the frame to one side we're going to open up our plastic so we only need to use one of them so we open it up like we would a book and place the other like that We'll put our stalk for the time being to one side, our teeth and eyes, our sticky glue bits, our blue tack or white tack should we say, and open our lid of our washable glue. Okay, so when we're sticking our tissue paper sometimes they get stuck together so before we start just gently separate them out you don't have to put them all separate just if you just start to put them between your fingers and make sure you've got one at once not three or four like that one they're all stuck together so I'll gently release them okay now when we're using the glue we only need a tiny little amount so and I start by sticking around the edge of my um, plastic shape but you don't have to you can simply start from the middle you can start all haphazard it's up to you it's just how I like to go round the edge and try not to have them sticking out of the edge like that. Try and keep them in the plastic so it'll be neater once we put our frame on, okay? So I'll show you how I put the glue on. So wipe a bit on the side of the pot. So we should have that much. Just a tiny little dab on your tissue paper and then I'm going to line the first one up to the edge. I'm going to grab another one again I've dipped in again but you've probably got enough glue on already and then I'm going to it doesn't matter if they overlap either so and it also doesn't matter if you've got um, little space you see I've got enough glue on my stick so I don't need to dip it in again and I'm putting them can you see up to the edge of my pumpkin shape so I'm going to carry on moving them round the edge. Can you see how mine have overlapped? 
and that's fine as well. So I'm having a little bit more. So we don't need to cover the whole of the tissue paper, just a little tiny dab, just as long as it secures it to the plastic and that's absolutely fine. So carry on. So if you want to pause the video while I'm doing this, you can. Or if you want to carry on, it's fine as well. As you can see, I'm trying not to go too much outside the line. Um, you've got a mixture of bigger bits and these little tiny bits as well. That's just because those tiny bits help when you're going around corners as well. They're easier to squeeze in. Now, if I was to go into the middle, just to show you, and I've got like a bit of a gap like that, as you can see there, it doesn't matter, really doesn't. So, I'm not going to carry on sticking all my bits on for you because that will be really boring to watch. So you can pause that while you stick all your bits on and I'm going to show you um, what it will look like when you've finished. So there we go. So that's one that I did earlier which is totally finished. Okay, so as you can see there's little tiny bits that I've missed. It doesn't matter, it doesn't spoil the overall effect of the tissue paper. Right, so the next thing we need is our teeth. So again, get our glue spreader. You can wipe it if it's drippy. It's quite gloopy this glue, it's a good glue. And put little dots on the back of the teeth so they secure them. So, and we're going to place them on our pumpkin shape, like so. And then we're going to put two eyes, like that, put our glue on. And I think they look good, like that. You can put them wide apart, closer together, it's totally up to you. Okay, so, can you remember where you've left your other bit of plastic? So get it ready and then just round the edge of your pumpkin we're going to put just some little bits of glue, doesn't matter where, it's just to secure them together and it will like encase your bits of tissue in between two pieces, okay, see I'm putting it, no particular pattern, just putting bits round the edge like so. Okay, I'll move my glue to one side. So if you look, they need to match up perfectly. So if you've opened them like that and put it to the side, when you put it back on, it's almost like you're closing a book and you will put on like that. So you are matching your shape up, okay? So, now you have a totally enclosed pumpkin. Right, so our next bit we're going to do is we're going to get our sticky glue dots like this. Now they've got a coating on one side and the rest are stuck to a backing. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our frame, just move our pumpkin face to one side. And well actually, before you do that, just make sure that you've got it the right way round to fit your shape. So that's the front of my pumpkin frame. So again, as if you're opening a book, pull it over like that. So that becomes the back of the frame, which is where you're going to stick your sticky bits or sticky dots. Okay, so we're just putting them round the frame like so. Okay, last one there. That one. I'm going to go all the way round like so. Now what it should look like is like that when you've finished. So I'm going to carry on 
and put all my dots on. Now when we've put our dots on, what we have to do then is take the backing off so the top becomes sticky and it will stick to our pumpkin. So prepare yourself to do that as well. But you might be thinking, we've missed one bit out, but we're going to do that last. Is green tissue paper and that's going to stick on there. So we get our glue pot and we put little tiny dabs just round the edge. I'm dragging it round like that carefully. We only need a tiny little bit because it's one small bit of tissue paper. So can you see I'm just going round the edge, okay? Then I'm going to get my piece of tissue and gently, carefully put round there. Now, as you can see, how I've put it, I've gone a bit crazy, which is fine. So there is a bit of glue showing. That's fine because we're going to let it dry before we stick it to the window um, with our with our white tap because we don't want your pumpkin staying on your window forever. Okay. Oh, I've just missed a little. There. Okay, so the next job is to take the covers off your little sticky bits and just put them to one side, like so. So the whole thing is sticky. if you've got if nails if not find somebody in your house that has <laughs> um, because if you've not got any nails it might be a bit tricky to get <laughs> to get the covers off they're not too hard um, almost there okay nearly there and a bit more. okay so I've just worked my way round in an order so they're quite sticky okay so as you can see we've got the front of our pumpkin and the back with all the sticky dots on so like I said it's like opening a book it's like closing a book again so are you ready we're going to place our frame around our pumpkin face and gently just using our hands to press down on the pumpkin. There we go. And hey presto. There we go. We have a pumpkin sun catcher. Now I'll show a photo of what it looks in daylight against the window. Um, so what I'm going to do is tip mine upside down like that and leave it to dry. If it's, see, I've put those two wide apart, so what I'll do is just remove those. I don't want those to stick to the window. It's still, it's still absolutely fine with the ones that are covered. Um, but you might be want to be a bit more careful than me and make sure that your sticky pads are really on the edge of the frame. Okay, so there we go. A pumpkin sun catcher. Thank you for joining in.